Welcome to a tutorial video on HTML basics. In this video I'm going to go over nesting elements. So we can see here this video's content compared to the last video is different. Our code has changed. Now we're using the HTML tag and the body tag. Notice our HTML tag starts on line 1. We see its opening tag. We see the opening tag of the body on line 2. We see the closing tag of the body on line 8 and the closing tag of HTML on line 9. We are now nesting this content. In the previous video we talked about tags. Again, as I just reviewed, opening tag, less than, something, and a greater than sign. And then our closing tag has a slash. So we have opening tags and closing tags. An element, an HTML element, is both the opening tag and the closing tag. It's also all of the content inside those. So when we're talking about, for example, this h1 on line 3, we see its opening tag, we see its content, HTML basics, and we see the closing tag. This right here is an h1 element. Again, it has an opening tag, some content, and a closing tag as an element we can nest elements, as I've demonstrated here, by putting them inside other elements. So we see here the content mostly of the previous video using the headings and the paragraph tag are now nested inside the body tag. The body tag in turn is nested inside the HTML tag. HTML follows the metaphor of anatomy it has a body. So when we add content to an HTML document, we're changing the content of the body. So we see here we're using the body tag to show its content. So we've taken the content of the previous video, the headings and the paragraph, and we've put them inside the body, which is where they belong. And wrapped in that, it's the HTML opening and closing tag, which marks this document as HTML. We're also using a similar example on a more micro level, right here with the strong tag and its closing tag around the content bold. We're also using the EM or emphasis tag right here with the opening tag and closing tag. So let's see what this all looks like. It doesn't look too totally different than the previous video, where it was headings and the paragraph tag. In this case, though, it's now within the body and within an HTML tag. For the web browser, it doesn't really make a difference, but as we add complexity, we want to make sure we follow the rules within HTML. So we have an opening tag of HTML, or added content to its body, and then we close the body and then close the HTML. But again, it doesn't look different from the previous video when we had an H1, an H2, and a paragraph. But one of the more noticeable changes here is this text is now bold and this has an emphasis. We use that in the code with the strong tag to give it more strength or make it bold and the EM or emphasis tag to give something emphasis. So on a more micro level we can embed nest that is put tags inside elements by in this case using strong or in this other case using em to put them inside other elements to nest them within those other tags on a greater level as we're starting to add complexity to this we want to also be aware that we want to put things within the body tag and anything we're doing in html needs to go within an html tag to mark that so as a review we introduced the HTML tag. It marks a document as HTML. The HTML document follows something like the anatomy of a body where we put stuff in a body tag. So we have our previous content from the last video. We can also do the same inside a paragraph tag tag for this example, make text bold or give it an emphasis in the strange in the same way by putting tags inside other tags and nesting elements, the opening tag, its content, and its closing tag within other elements in HTML. Thanks for watching.